Good morning, good morning everyone. I am getting ready to make a cake and I love to use these tin cans to bake them in, especially if I'm going to be mailing them because they arrive intact. The problem is that these days to find these is really, really difficult because now they're making them not as deep, more um, shallow and that's hard. But in, in any case, what I have here is the bottom that's gonna go on the bottom and what's gonna go around the sides. And the way I like to do it is I spray some, some of it like so. The first one that you wanna put down is gonna be the side ones. And the reason for that is because when you put the middle one, it'll seal on the side and it won't leak through or seep through or however you say it. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and covered those pieces that were exposed. So you don't want any part of the tin to, the, your batter to touch any part of the tin. You wanna make sure you cover it really well. Okay, so this is ready. Now I'm gonna put my batter together. Batter is done, and now we're gonna put it in our pan. I wanted to mention real quick, if you want, if you ever wanna give a boost to any cake that you make, I urge you to buy this vanilla. You can find it on Amazon. And I normally grate a little bit of lime zest to it and it just takes it to another level. One little point I wanted to make very important. <clears throat> you don't want to fill this any higher than this. So it's about a quarter high of the size of the can. So you don't want to fill, you don't want to overfill it. If you do it to halfway, you run the risk of it going over, so keep it a little bit under halfway full of, of cake batter, okay? And you should be safe. Okay, this is gonna bake for anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. So, and I might add that this is a box cake, so it's just the right amount for this uh, pan, and this pan is an eight by nine. So this is the box cake that I use, and you can get any box cake and really doctor it up, which is what I have done by adding the zest of one lime and some good quality vanilla. I added four eggs instead of three, and I use Irish butter, which is really, really good real butter. That makes all the difference in the world. You don't have to overthink it because initially I was going to make what we call a Dominican cake, but that is far too much work. So I decided to go this route. And trust me, it's going to taste just as delicious. If Okay, people. So, as you can see, it didn't go over, which is perfect, using a box cake. And you can doctor it up, as I said. I initially put this to bake for 35 minutes. A little bit over what the box suggested, but it wasn't cooked all the way. So I had to add another like 10 minutes. So in the future, I would just do 50 minute bake time and you should be okay. So I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning because I've been baking for a while. So I pretty much know this is when I put the knife in and it wasn't done all the way. So I had to put it back anyway, guys. But this is a really awesome way to ship a cake to someone that you love. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thank you.